Welcome to episode number 46, Five Easy Holiday Style Updates. Quick, you've been invited to yet another holiday soiree. What are you going to wear? This question just may strike fear in the hearts of many this season. The holidays can be overwhelming enough, but add in multiple occasions for holiday dress, and it can be enough to make you want to hide behind all the black pants hanging in your closet and wait until December 26th to come out. Getting dressed for all your holiday events doesn't have to mean a complete wardrobe overhaul. With a few simple style updates, you'll be ready for every event that comes your way. In this episode, you'll discover the basic pieces that create the foundation for a great holiday look. How dressing for the holidays can be easier than you might think. Simple swaps and updates that make a big impact. Surprising ways to elevate your look. The one color that is all the rage this season. Dressing for all your holiday events does not have to be overwhelming. You are going to rock your style this holiday season. But first, are you frustrated with shopping and feel there must be a better way? Then I invite you to try out Style Finder Boutique. My husband Jim and I, aka Big Daddy, opened Style Finder in 2015 to bring women just like you the best in upscale casual clothing that's perfect for work, the weekend, and everything in between. We offer three easy ways to shop. You can shop with us 24-7 at shopstylefinder.com or you can download the Style Finder Boutique app for both iPhone and Android. Be sure you turn notifications on so you know when we go live. You'll not only find a selection of amazing clothing, but we offer tools and resources to ensure you get clothing that's right for you. From our Shop the Look videos that offer styling suggestions, to fit videos and measurements that help you determine if something will fit your shape, we bring the best of online shopping to your laptop or mobile device. Use code PODCASTLOVE to save 20% on your first order online or on the app. If you're in Raleigh, North Carolina, then I invite you to visit our brick-and-mortar location. We're in North Hills Shopping Center, and our team of stylists are here to assist you in curating the perfect outfit, selecting the perfect gift, or building a whole new wardrobe. Who knows, I might be in the boutique myself to personally help style you. We help you know what to wear and how to wear it so you can feel confident and beautiful every single day. Let us be your style's secret weapon so you can dress like you mean it. Welcome to Style by Mary Michelle, a podcast designed to empower you through personal style. I'm your host, Mary Michelle Nidefer, a master style coach, founder of Style Finder Boutique and creator of the Style Finder ID system. I'm here to help you know what to wear, how to wear it, and how to get dressed in seven minutes or less. Let's go. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the podcast. Today, I'm sharing with you five easy holiday style updates. Getting dressed for your holiday events does not have to mean a complete wardrobe overhaul. We've been working with so many clients this season to help them with just that one simple tweak or just the few things they can add in to their wardrobes to really help catapult things to the next level, to help you feel right on trend, ready for your holiday parties, and ready for everything that comes your way. Because guess what? During the holidays, there are a lot of things that happen that are unexpected. I'm sure your calendar is chock full of events. However, I know that, you know, friends call at the last minute. Hey, can you come over? Hey, we're having a party. We decided to have a last minute drop in and you want something to wear. I don't ever want you to stay home and miss out on a fun event because you don't know what to wear. And over the years, I've had so many clients tell me that, you know, they got that last minute party invitation or they just, you know, couldn't find anything to wear and they were stressed out. And so they didn't go. And I don't want to see you miss out on anything good and anything fun that you really want to go to. So today, holiday style updates. Now, what's great about the holidays is that most occasions, not every occasion, I know there are some formal occasions, but most occasions call for what I like to call Christmas casual, or we'll call it holiday casual for um, those of you who don't celebrate Christmas. 
And while you may have some dressier events, Holiday Casual is perfect for all those open houses, going Christmas caroling, dinners with friends, cocktail parties, holiday parties, uh, dinners out, you name it. And when you focus your efforts here, you'll always have several go-to options when that unexpected invitation arrives. So I'm going to share with you some things to focus on and some easy things that you can bring into your wardrobe that will really help elevate some of your basics. Now, don't discount your basics. What I want you to do, first of all, is go through and think about what are the basics that I have in my closet that can be easily transformed. Now, I have found that I hate to even say it because I know you guys are going to kill me. I talk so much about black and how black is not everybody's best color. However, (laughs) at the holidays, a lot of women want to wear black. Black seems a little bit more appropriate during the holidays. It's just, it can be a little bit dressier, especially if you're talking about casual, something casual. A lot of our clients have wanted black jeans, black pants, black leggings. They can be really simple, easy, versatile. So ladies, I am going to give you a break on the black for the holidays. If you choose to wear black, great. But I have found that when you have simple basics to fall back on, such as black or camel or ivory or denim, that those can be so neutral. You might have some other ones. Maybe it's charcoal. Maybe it's silver. Maybe it's gold metallic. Then you have something that's neutral. And that can be the backdrop for so many different outfits. Now, I encourage you, come follow me on TikTok. Are you on TikTok yet? I've been having so much fun and I'm sharing so many great videos on TikTok and Instagram. It's both Style by Mary Michelle. And go follow me because I'm giving some great outfit inspiration, outfit suggestions, ways that you can easily elevate your outfits to become holiday casual. It's not challenging. It does not mean a complete overhaul. So here are my five things I want you to think about when it comes to updating your wardrobe for the holidays. Number one, three can be the magic number. Now, not all holiday outfits have to have three layers. You know, I talk so much about the power of the third layer. And what I love about that third layer is that third layer can often be the piece that transforms a simple column of color. Maybe you've got a black tank and a black pair of pants or a, an ivory tank and a, an ivory pair of pants. And you add in that third layer and it elevates. It takes things to the next level. It puts that festive touch on your basics and you've got that foundation. So when you add that third layer, it's just, it just pulls it all together. Adding in a third layer to a simple top and pants can be the transformational. It really can. And the power of the third layer is a wonderful thing to tap into this time of year for an easy addition of both holiday cheer and warmth because you know it's december i know not everywhere it's warm and in fact it's december here in north carolina and our weather's been in the 70s this week which is a little crazy but i know it's going to get chilly and in the evenings it's chilly so having that lightweight jacket that liquid leather that kimono that wrap that sweater is sometimes very much appreciated now this is not an invitation to throw on just any old thing just to keep warm I want you to add in something that has pizzazz, a little panache, a little punch to it, a faux fur vest, a liquid leather jacket, a blazer and a gorgeous jewel tone or an animal print can be added to most tops already in your closet. You can also throw these on with a lot of dresses. Maybe it's your basic black dress. Maybe you have a green dress or red dress or red leopard print dress. I've got one of those in my closet. And it's really going to pull things together. But I actually shot a video the other day. Go go look on my TikTok and my Instagram. I created a video the other day and I had it on a simple skirt and a simple tank from the boutique. And then I have three different looks just by changing my jacket. And so your jacket or your third layer doesn't have to be a jacket. I love, love, love my jackets. It could be a vest, a kimono, a cardigan, whatever you would like to add in. And it can be the piece that changes your column of color or it changes your outfit. In the video that I shot, I was not wearing a column of color, but I've got on a simple metallic top and a black skirt and some black boots. 
which actually turned out to be fairly neutral. I I found many outfits I could have could have created. I stuck with three, but go follow me, go check out those outfits and then get in your closet and ask yourself, what can I add in that's going to elevate? But first find your core pieces. And if you are missing those core pieces, go get those stat. Now, if you're in Raleigh, come see us at Style Finder. We have got some great pieces. If you're online, you can shop online at the boutique uh, at shopstylefinder.com. Go take a peek or shop your favorite boutique. Go in, let your your favorite sales associate help pull, pull some things for you. But when you have those, what I call wardrobe building blocks and your wardrobe ready to go at a moment's notice, and then you've got those pieces, that the wow pieces, then you're ready to go. You just add in some jewelry, you know, throw on some great lipstick, get your nails done, and you are set. All right, number two, faux real. Yes, faux real. I had, I had to do that. Faux as in F-A-U-X, not Fox. Faux as in fake. Why not top off your look with a faux fur collar, a wrap, a jacket, something with a simple little piece of faux fur around it. Now, if you choose to do the real thing, that's great. We, you know, personally, I love faux fur. Um, I love just the versatility of it. And it just, there's some great faux fur out there that feels so soft. In fact, we've got these gorgeous vests in the boutique that just feels like you just want to pet yourself all day. So we've been telling our clients, it's like a stress reliever. You can just touch it. If you feel stressed, just rub your vest. And it can elevate the most basic outfit and turn it into something special, making it what I call greater than the sum of its parts. Now, I shot a video the other day for our School of Style members, I actually did a little fashion show uh, to show them some upscale casual um, holiday or holiday casual, I should say, looks. And in one of the looks, I had a liquid leather jacket in ivory from Claire Sun Wu, which ladies, Oprah's favorite things this year, and they've been flying out the door. So go grab one. But I had on an ivory liquid leather jacket. And then we have these beautiful, almost white faux fur stoles. It's called a stole. And so I draped that around the collar and it just elevated a jacket that I could wear honestly year round. It elevated. It's the simple addition of faux fur that adds that festive touch. Now, what I love about dressing for the holidays is just this. As a style coach, I mean, I have helped so many women over the years get dressed for holiday parties. And like I said earlier, it depends on your event. If you have a formal event you're going to, then it's a whole different ballgame. I'm helping style several of my clients who have formal events, and that's a whole different ballgame. However, most of the events I find that people go to are upscale casual, or as I like to call it, holiday casual. And so when you can take a basic everyday outfit and add in something as simple as a $30 faux fur stole and make it, and then add in a little, what I call ice, add in some icy earrings, uh, a little sparkle, that's all you need. And then you're ready. You feel put together. You feel very holiday. And then after the holidays, take the faux fur stole off, swap out your earrings, and you've got a gorgeous look that's going to be perfect for work, for the weekend, for everything else you do in your life. So faux fur though, faux fur to me is just festive. It's fun. It's luxe. It's just elegant. So try faux fur. We've got some beautiful ponchos that have a faux fur collar, faux fur cuffs. To me, it's just glamour. It just adds that touch of glamour and I love it. It makes me, when I put it on, it just makes me feel like I am ready for a party. And so even if it's just your wrap that you put on to wear in route to the party, go for it. You cannot go wrong with faux fur. Number three, all the glitters. While jewelry can sparkle and add a lot to your look, why not opt for a top or sweater or jacket or something that has built, what I call built in bling. Try a rhinestone studded jacket or a studded, just a studded jacket. We've got some beautiful liquid leather jackets that are studded that have silver studs. And it's like, it, it's got built in bling. You could do a sweater. You could do jeans. We actually just got some jeans in from Liverpool that um, the Sadie Spangled jeans, they have a, a stripe of glitter up the side. It's not going to come off. It's not the kind of glitter that's going to make a mess and leave a trail, but it is the kind of glitter that um, just, it, it elevates 
you could easily put that on a t-shirt and sneakers and wear it for every day, but then you wear that to your holiday party in place of basic gray jeans, and it just takes it to the next level. I have actually got some booties I've had for years. They're black and they have silver studs. When I wear those, I just feel like it's a more polished, a more festive. It's more fun. But think about things that have built-in bling, whether it's a sweater that has some adornment on the sleeves, um, something that's studded maybe around the neckline. It could be a blouse or a top or something that has embroidery or maybe it's, you know, all sorts of things painted on or and I'm just trying to think of everything I've seen over the years. Maybe it's a little bit of lace or it could be metallic lace. There are just the options are endless. And if you get online and just search, um, search for, you know, sweater with sparkle or sweater with bling. I don't know if that's going <laughs> to be interesting to see what that comes up with, but I like to call it built-in bling. You could search built-in bling. I don't know. I don't guarantee that you'll come up with anything, but when you wear things that have built-in bling, I tell my clients, when you have that, or you bring, um, you bring something to your face that brings light to the face, you surround your face with ice or cut rhinestones or gemstones or diamonds or something that reflects light. It brings light to your face. It helps you to sparkle and look amazing. So think about what you can bring in that glitters, that glows, that sparkles, that shimmers, that shines. Maybe it's a sequin tank. Maybe it's a sequin jacket. Maybe it's, you know, something that's got a little bit of studs, you name it. Have fun with that. Number four, a pop of pink. Now, pink has been such a hot color for 2021, and it has been all the rage for so many reasons. Our clients have been loving it. I tell you what, we post a pink a picture of a pink top on our Facebook group and our Style Finder VIP group and women, our clients are like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. I don't know. There's something about pink that's just so happy. It's fun. Actually, if you're watching this video, you see I'm surrounded by pink walls. My office is pink and I love pink. I love to wear pink. Hot pink is actually a really good color for me, but here's where I really want you to think about the color. There are so many different shades of pink from blush to cranberry to fuchsia to wine. I want you to think about what color is right for you. Maybe it's more of a salmon, something that really works well in your skin tone. If you have warmer, a warmer skin tone, I would not choose a hot pink or a fuchsia. That's not necessarily the best color for you. I would go more for a berry color or a salmon color or something that's maybe like a pinky blush play with it and see what works best with your skin tone. If you put something on and you feel like it's washing you out, trust that and find something else. But think about pink. We've seen so many fabulous pink tops in the boutique this season, pink tanks. A pop of a pink tank under a black jacket with a black pair of pants can be a fabulous look. But don't feel like you only have to put it with black. Pink works really well with camel. I am loving it with winter white. In fact, I put this gorgeous bright pink top with a winter white jacket and it looked amazing. But think about pink and if what shade of pink works for you. We actually have had some faux fur vests in a gorgeous blush color that so many clients have loved. It's just such a soft, flattering color. It's a little bit unexpected and it certainly brings in all the holiday vibes that you need this season. So think about a pop of pink. All right, number five, down under. Why let the upper half of your body have all the fun? Swap out, try swapping out your basic jeans or black pants for something more festive. Now, a couple of things that I love. I mentioned earlier, we have some jeans that have some built-in bling uh, in the boutique. We've also loved over the years, a couple of things that I have in my closet are maybe some scuba pants that have a metallic design, or maybe you have cut velvet pants or something in a bright, vibrant color. We're seeing so many different things. And you can't, absolutely, you can wear your neutral pants, your black pants, your camel pants, your solids. But if you feel drawn to wearing pants that have more of a festive print, or they're in a fun color or a vibrant print, go for it. Whether it's a print or just a color or it's got a pattern or a design, whatever works for you. 
Now, it doesn't have to be anything bold. You could also try a faux suede. Now, we've had these gorgeous faux suede leggings in the boutique this season. And we got them in in a sort of a stone color, a camel color, a black, a couple of other colors. And they're just, they're in an olive color and they're so beautiful. And that, those with maybe a longer tunic or a longer jacket would be so perfect. Suede to me is a very luxe, very rich texture and really adds an element of festiveness. <laughs> Is that a word? It adds an element of festiveness. How about polish? It adds an element of polish to your look. So think about wearing something fabulous on the bottom. Or maybe it's, you know, coated jeans or faux leather. I know we've seen a lot of the, you know, the Spanx faux leather leggings this year. We've seen um, metallic prints, so many different things. But don't let or rather don't feel limited by just wearing holiday pieces above the waist. Have some fun below the waist. Now, the other thing you can think about uh, for number five is your shoes. What if you wore an all black or maybe some black tuxedo pants and then a pink top and a black blazer, and then maybe you have some fabulous pink velvet loafers or pink velvet heels or leopard print heels or something fabulous. Maybe it's a metallic, maybe it's a bright color, maybe it's a print, a texture. Why not wear some great shoes or boots? I was somewhere, oh, we went to, my family went to the Angus Barn the other night and here in Raleigh, which if you've not been there and you are a steak eater, that is, uh, that is definitely a destination. And especially this time of year, they go all out. And so my family was lucky enough to get to go. We got a reservation and we had such a great time. And I saw some amazing outfits last night. It was fabulous. Uh, if you want to see what I wore, you can go over to my Instagram page. I've got a picture of, or actually quite a few pictures of our whole family. It's styled by Mary Michelle. And I actually wore a simple black jumpsuit and a one of my houndstooth liquid leather jackets. And the houndstooth jacket, it is in this beautiful uh, graphite and ivory houndstooth print that has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's almost pearlized. And I got some beautiful new Chanel earrings and necklace, and I had my nails done in red, and it just was super simple. It was comfortable, but it was elevated because the, the jewelry had a little bit of bling to it, and it just felt good. But I saw this woman who had on these beautiful, <laughs> they were uh, short booties, and they were sort of a um, pearlized, sequiny type, glittery, I don't even know what color, almost like hologram, but they looked great with her outfit. It was just the amount of sparkle that she needed and it just polished it off. And so even if you just do a simple shoe swap, think about, you know, an outfit where you just wear simple black booties or black shoes. What if you brought in a velvet or a bright color or a sparkle, a metallic, even just that one simple swap will elevate your look. So think about what simple swaps you can make, the, what simple pieces you can bring in. And just really know that coming up with a fabulous holiday look does not have to be difficult or complicated or overwhelming. With a few tricks up your sleeve, you'll, your friends will wonder if you secretly have a stylist on speed dial. Only you know your secret. Now, I'm going to go back over those tips again one more time. Number one, three is the magic number. Number two, faux real, faux fur. Number three, all that glitters. Bring in some bling. Number four, pop of pink. And number five, down under. Have fun below the waist as well as above the waist. Ladies, I hope you have loved these tips. Go follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you loved about this episode. And actually, if you go follow me on TikTok and Instagram, you can see examples of what I'm talking about here because I am releasing today, the day this comes out, uh, I will be dropping a couple of videos to show you. Here, is, here are a few interpretations of these. So go get some examples, go shop your closet first, know what you have, then know what you need to bring in. 
and make it happen pretty quick because I want you to look fabulous for your holiday parties all week long, all month long. And let me know what you end up with. Send me a comment, send send me a DM, um, send me an email and let me know if you need help. I would love to help you feel beautiful. I would love to hear how these tips helped you. And actually, if you have not left me a review, please, I would love for you to leave me a review and let me know what you loved about this episode. Was this helpful? Did you like it? What would you like to hear more of? When you do leave me a review, I would love for you to give me five stars on iTunes and just write a little something about what you've enjoyed, what's been helpful, you know, and why, why you would share this, what will you, who you would recommend it for. Let me know what you want to hear more of. Let me know your thoughts, your comments, but it means so much to me. I read every single review and it just really helps me to feel more connected to you. So thank you so much for being here today. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are more than enough. Have a beautiful day, ladies, and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to Style by Mary Michelle, where women come to get dressed in seven minutes or less. If you enjoyed this podcast, I invite you to leave me a five-star review on iTunes or wherever you're listening. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Style by Mary Michelle and shop our boutique at shopstylefinder.com for the best in upscale casual apparel. Better yet, if you're in the Raleigh area, come see us. We're located in the North Hills Shopping Center, the premier shopping district in Midtown Raleigh. For details and links mentioned in this episode, be sure to see the show notes. Have a beautiful week.